Well, come on, thank you very much. This is the big issue here on TV3 New Day. Thanks to Grandpa Clothing for my outfit, 020-985-5696. Again, 020-985-5696. And you get something special from Grandpa this morning. Also, quick, 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 uh, let's say a, a quick happy birthday to a few special people who have their birthdays today. A happy birthday to my sweet and lovely wife, Mrs. Millicent Amawuswa Lamte. It's your birthday. This is from a lovely daughter, uh, Nelly Odako Lamte, to my parents. Um, also, that's your birthday today. This is from Dr. Ray of Getwell Medical Center in Tema. It is your birthday today. Happy birthday. And we encourage you to uh, send your thoughts and comments onto our WhatsApp console so we can share with the rest of the wonderful world your thoughts on great matters that we'll be discussing this morning. Also, a happy birthday to Valentin Seto Ale. This is from Komla Dum here at TV3. Happy, happy birthday. If it's your birthday as well, happy birthday with you uh, to you. Let's start off with the daily statement, shall we? It says, uh, Obi Amor indicts CSOs in botched referendum on MMDCE's election. That's what uh, the Deputy Minister for Local Governance is saying. Akufuado assures level playing field in selecting next NPP flag bearer. An Accra Compost and Recycling Plants commissioned. NPP exposes OT chief with Akufuado's unmatched record. The BNFT is next. It says Akufuado inaugurates 20 million euros second phase of the uh, bulk supply, uh, power supply plant in Pokwasi. Also, bank loans are not for startups, UMB boss, as such businesses need long-term funds. And investors vote Ghana to lead continent towards industrial boom. Let's approach cast light as a strategy against robbery. Gibbs boss, Mr. Hesse there. Daily graphic, second phase of a crack compost plant commissioned and also private schools license uh, renewal now three years, according to the education minister. And discussions on LGBTQ plus bill tolerate opposing views. President Ekufuado has told the public as the debate goes on. And the Ghanaian Times says a public debate on LGBTQ uh, plus heats up. President urges tolerance in civil discourse. That's on page three, uh, 16 of the Ghanaian Times. Also, Shatawale, others remanded in police custody for one week. Second phase of 20 million euros ACAP uh, inaugurated as government commits to improving sanitation in Accra. NTC and NRSA forge partnership on road safety campaign. The Finder newspaper. Stop financial irregularities. Chief of staff cautions the MMDAs. Commercial radio stations in Accra, Tema, uh, Kumasi, Takradi to pay 55,084 licenses according to the NCA. Joe Anoche's picture is there. Asabi's communication prowess will help MPP in 2024 party stalwart. 2,000 tons Accra compost and recycling plant. 800 tons uh, phase two commissioned and Shatawale three others remanded over publication of false news. Finally, the Daily Guide. Even losers are on thank you tour. Nana apologizes to Ogwa uh, as he shades John Mahama there. Shatawale gang boys pasta caged. Ekufuado opens 20 million euros a cup phase two uh, plant there. My guest this morning, Mr. Kwesi Kwating, he is a spokesperson at the Ministry of Education. He's here on the ticket of the NPP. And also lawyer Abraham Amalba. He is the head of the NDC's legal team. He's also a member of the National Communications team. He's a private legal practitioner as well. Counsel, Kwesi, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How Thank are you, you doing? Thank Great, great, great. Mm. How's your Friday going, counsel? Very well. Um, I think, um, but for... The president's uh, utterances yesterday, I think uh, the situation was uh, <laughs> quite uh, normal until the president came and made those wild statements. In any case, um, I'm sure it's one of the topics we'll be discussing, mm. so I wouldn't want to let the cut out yet. Uh, you have a cut in the bag? Yeah. Okay, crazy. How's the Friday going? Uh, I'm fine. I'm doing well. Mm. <laughs> Although Amalba has started on, on the very <laughs> You're wondering where he's going. Yeah, then. Well, I was wondering. <laughs> We've not even said the topics and quickly he wants to box the president in it and uh, make it as though the, the president has made some wild statements. That uh, I, I want to hear what he has to say. Yeah, I think he should, he should just <laughs> let us know what he has to say. Then I'll react to it because 
the way he he now set the tone for mm. the conversation, I'm sure he has something under his. Anyway, I, I have a point of interest though from the perspective of the Ministry of Education yeah. and the Ghana Education Service. Uh, Nineteen boys were sodomized by their social studies teacher, at the Kupi JHS mm. Natoma yeah. Otabel. I've not heard from the ministry. Yeah. Uh, I've not heard from the GES, yeah. but it is the GES and the ministry that put that teacher in the school yeah. to teach the children how to live right in society and how to obey the laws and all of that. Now, if it turns out that he has confessed in open court that he indeed sodomized the boys, the GES has not spoken about it. Is it fair? I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm happy that at least you have a lawyer on this panel mm. while this conversation has come up. Uh, if you know, I think when it comes to matters like this, mm. especially sodomy is a, pure, a purely criminal matter. That's right. And then when it comes to uh, criminal issues, certainly there is an institution that is responsible for it, i.e. the police service. Mm. The, and of course, I mean, after their investigation, they have to go through the a judicial system, mm -hmm. then test is at the end of the day, a competent court of jurisdiction will come out or make a determination on whether or not the person is guilty or, or something. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the nature of the issue, it's about sodomy. And as soon as sodomy comes in, then it moves from the level of, say, the teacher or GS or even the ministry. But mm -hmm. of course, I mean, we do acknowledge that uh, the teacher is our client and even the students are equally our clients. And so that level of collaboration at the district and the regional level mm -hmm. is there between uh, the GES directorate and, of course, uh, I mean, the police. But if you look at the nature of the issue, it's a purely criminal matter. Mm -hmm. And there is really little that the GES or the ministry can do. I mean, the only thing we can do is that after the investigation and the court proceedings, if there are any further actions that the ministry or the, the agency that is responsible for, for recruiting them and they're responsible mm -hmm. for uh, the care of the case, uh, can then take further action. But until then, you are unable to run or usurp the, the proceedings that is currently... I, I'm ongoing. not inviting you to usurp the processes. Uh, and this matter broke... Council, please indulge me. This matter broke on the 24th of September on, on media general platforms. Yeah. It became public on the 27th of September. Up until now, the ministry has not breathed a word. GS, GS has not breathed a word. Yeah, because it the took, investigation it, has not oh, concluded. Oh, hold, on for, hold on for me. It took forever for even an NGO and the MP to step in to provide the bills for the medical examination for the boys. All this while the GS was quiet. And I know that the GS will, and the ministry will say we have guidance and counseling units in the school. I'm interested in what kind of psychological support has been given to the boys and the other boys who may be scared. That's the kind of conversation. I'm not asking you to get this, the merits of the matter so that we commit subjudicate. I'm saying that up until now, you put the teacher there. You are supposed to be monitoring teaching and learning. And you are quiet. 19 boys have been sodomized. The teacher has confessed in open court. Those are the facts. Is it fair, you, uh, is it fair you, to the parents and the students Johnny, and the you, community you, you, that Johnny, you, you see, you still uh, keep bringing in the issue about the court. That, mm. I mean, you see, as soon as you bring in the confession in court, that is not absolute. Mm. Because even today, if I find myself in court and I plead guilty, <laughs> the court will enter not guilty. I'm talking about psychological support yeah, so, for the boys. So, so, Have we provided? So I want us. To, I want us to distance ourselves from the proceedings in court. Okay. Then we deal with the 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 the, the how do you call it, the other. Let's matters. deal with psychological and I'm support. Saying that, and I'm saying let's that, deal with psychological yes, support. That, Have you provided day, psychological no, support? I, 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 what, I, what I'm saying is that if you look at GES mm. at the district level, at the regional level, there has been that level of collaboration between GES and the investigating bodies. And so, for instance. Uh, when they went to, how do you call it, uh, 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 Tamale. Tamale for yes, the medical yeah, test. For, yeah. Yeah, yes, that level of collaboration was also there between the... Uh, the what what the, kind the of collaboration? Treat. Of course, I mean, you, could, you, you cannot just pack case into a bus and then take them to a medical facility. Certainly, they, 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 you have to get the approval and the support of, of, of the directorate at the district level, at the, at, the, at the regional level. You see, what you want probably the GES to have done is maybe to have come out to condemn the act. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that we couldn't have done that, especially when investigation have not been terminated. All the level of support that is needed at the district level, at the regional level, I can assure you, and I'm stating on authority, 
that the, the regional directorate and the district directors have all been given them I, I, that, I, that needed support. I, I can say to you that the children had not been given psychological support, no level of counseling from the GES's guidance and counseling units in the school. I can tell you this on authority. I mean, what do, what, do you, what, do, what do you mean by psychological support? Because at the end of the day, you are trying to, uh, how do you call it, break the components of the medical support. The most important thing is that they get the medical support, which as I speak to you, the medical examination has been done. That's they, so, paid I'm coming, for I'm by coming, the MP and an NGO. And what does it change? Sodomized by your no. teacher, your client. Uh, you see, then you take me back to the court. That issue has not been terminated. The matter has not been determined. You understand? I'm saying that if you ought to finish the investigative process, a medical uh, report have to conclude and confirm. Then a court of competent jurisdiction will have to make a determination. You have to, clearly, you have to separate a purely criminal matter mm. from a civil matter. I am saying that, yes, we have a role to play, mm. and that role is to collaborate with the teacher. Amaliba is here. He will mm. tell you that it's a purely criminal matter. The only thing that we can do in a purely criminal matter is to assess the agency or the institution that leads in the investigation and the prosecution the, of the, the criminal matter. The Ministry of Gender has written a statement suggesting that they were going to provide psychological support to the, to the people. They didn't post the teacher to the school. They have written a statement since, since Madame Cecilia Brandapa went there. I just thought they didn't write a letter. Mm -hmm. Now, are you suggesting that they are also becoming medicine interlopers? Uh, not, not, not at all, not at all. But, uh, I mean, bottom line is that in, in principle, government is taking an action. So, which action? I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, Johnny. The point is that. Which action? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, you asked a question, so let right. me answer you. Bottom line is that GES at the level of the district level, at the level of the regional level, has been having that level of collaboration, even though it is not public. Your point is about that psychological support. Mm. Where I am saying that that psychological support, of course, is, is, is encompassed in the whole medical, medical treatment or the medical support that they are getting. Mm. Your point is that you want GES to come out to say that, well, we are providing A, psychological, A, B, psychological support. Because you support. have guidance and counseling units. Yes, and that system and structures are there. So what, again, do you want? Has the teacher been suspended? The case is in court. I see. Okay. Council, I don't know if you want a bite on this one. I would, because uh, we all have children who are in school. And so good morning to your viewers. Good morning, Council. Um, when children leave home to school, they leave their parents and they are in school. The teachers take over as parents. Now, if you have a teacher then taking advantage of the children and abusing them, that for me is a complete uh, 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 um, break of what the parent, uh, uh, the, the teacher-student relationship is all about. Mm. It's, it's, it's a complete breakaway. Now you have a teacher who has, who is alleged mm. to have sodomized children in the school. Mm. One would have expected that the internal processes of the GES would have been activated. Mm. Forget about the matter in court. But if you work in an institution and you get yourself embroiled in some conflict within your workplace, there are internal processes that are activated. Those internal processes will include, and you mentioned it, step aside, uh, suspended mm. so that we can look into the matter. Was this done? I don't know. Now, this case of the sodomy is quite straightforward because I am told from the news, I'm told that the teacher confessed in court. That's right. Now, when you confess, and he was misleading people, when you confess, what happens is that you are immediate, immediately convicted on your own plea of guilty. Nothing convicts a man faster than his words. So when you plead guilty, because the, when you go to court, they will read your charges to you. Count one. You, so, so, and so, so did. You did this, that, that, that. Within the jurisdiction of this court. Are you guilty or not? Guilty. Immediately you say you are guilty, you'll be convicted on your own plea, and then you'll be sentenced. That cuts the matter very short. Confession is not the same as accepting to, that you are guilty. You have to distinguish the two. I'm no. saying that. I'm saying that they are not. They are not the same. Separated. Make it he clear. He pleaded guilty. That's no, what I'm saying. The confession is not the same as pleading guilty. You are a lawyer. Educate as well. I'm saying that the man com uh, confession is not the pleaded same guilty. As, ah. No, they are the two different things. Uh, what I say. I'm, I'm saying, saying that the man. I can confess 
that I did this, it does not necessarily mean that I accept that I'm guilty. Are you listening? I'm saying that the man went to court and confessed. He never accepted that, that he was guilty. He was guilty. I don't know, that your judgment would and, have been pronounced. And then if you are guilty, clearly you'll be convicted. He has not done that. Now, the next point is the issue that you are talking about. What assistance would the school or Ghana Education Service render to the affected victims? Mm. And up to now, we have not seen anything. And that's, for me, that's where your concern is. That's right. Up to now, we've seen nothing. In fact, there was a news but item that... the matter is in court, so... No, the matter is in court doesn't mean that... Ended, we... No, the matter is in court doesn't mean that GES cannot come to the aid of the students. Yeah, now, in the news, I heard that at a certain point that they were referred to Tamale Teaching Hospital. That's right. And when they, they couldn't get even transportation to go there, or even when they got there, they couldn't pay for the services. So it took uh, a helping kids and the MP, Hadja Zuera, to, to foot that bill. Exactly. But Johnny, that was the duty of the police. They were investigating, now, they ought to have run the, the, the test for them. No. Not the GS. Qu Kwezi, hold on, Kwezi, 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 I think that you're getting it wrong. Council is here. Yes. When you are raped, sodomized, or defiled, mm -hmm. the police will give you a medical form. Okay. You, the victim, will have to foot the bill. Okay. That's all right? Yeah. So. When you say it is the job of the police to foot the bill, no, we are talking about the, no, we are talking the about the police supposed to get, Where are the no. police supposed to get the money from? Where was he supposed to get the money from? Are they on all state institutions? I see. Are they on all state you institutions? You don't have IGF. No, no, <laughs> the police don't have IGF. <laughs> Johnny. So one would have expected that. Crazy. One would have expected that. Look at the circumstances of the children mm. and their parents not being able to foot the medical bill. The GS would have stepped in to assist in ensuring that they go through the process. Because so that process- The police should have done that. No, that process is part of the evidence gathering process. Mm. And if you don't go through that process for the medical report to show that, yes, there was some penetration, then it will be difficult for you to even prosecute the matter in court. In fact, the police couldn't charge him up until that the, the was report done. was done. Exactly. So it took the mag magistrate to come from Accra to put him in, in police custody because the people wanted to lynch the teacher. Good. So, if you have children from poor backgrounds and it is your employee who caused their pain, it is just proper and fair that you assist the students because at that point when they were in school, the GES, the, the, the teachers were like parents to the students. And so I agree with you entirely that when they were not able to foot their medical bills, GS should have stepped in I hear to you. provide that assistance. The explanation that because the matter is in court, you couldn't have stepped in to provide that assistance is neither here nor there. It is just a, a hoax, and that cannot be allowed to stand. Kwezi, that, if the GS has failed mm. <clears throat> in doing that, they must admit, and not to bring their PRO here to defend the poor nature in which they handled the whole situation. Just to put on record that Kwesi didn't come here because of, of this matter. I'm, I'm raising this because of I have an interest in it. And I, I think that if it had been one girl, we would have all been talking about 19 boys. It seems like we're all quite cool. But Kwesi, that, does this situation, for example, expose the kind of monitoring and evaluation of teaching and learning mm -hmm. in our schools, mm -hmm. where a teacher is able to sodomize 19 boys and it takes about three or four of them to go and confide in a female teacher before the matter is blown out. Does it expose monitoring and evaluation of teaching and learning processes in our schools under the GS and Ministry of Education? Okay, uh, before I, I answer that question, I mean, just a quick reaction to what Leah Malba was saying mm. about the photon of the bills and all okay. that. Thing. You know, if you look at the dossier units of the police service, they are responsible for that. Right. And so I still stand by my point that they ought to have also uh, taken responsibility for those things. But I mean, bottom line is that we are all working together as a government agency. So at the end of the day, there has to be that level of collaboration. Uh, then the question about whether or not there has been the breaking uh, monitoring, monitoring at the level of uh, in, in our schools. Uh, I will answer it from the wider scope or the, from the wider perspective. Of course, I mean, even if in, in our communities, we do have police, we do have laws. 
we do have uh, a lot of surveillance systems and other, for instance, I mean, if, if you drive across the road, there are a whole lot of CCTV cameras and other things. Yes, still, you have people breaking the law. Mm. And so what I would say is that there are some level of crimes, especially if you look at the nature of the crime, that you are unable to prevent. I mean, these are not crimes that are done in the open or in the public. And so you have a teacher probably uh, luring a student. And, it, it even boils down to this kind of suppressive culture that we, we, we are used to in our schools, mm -hmm. where a student is unable to question or challenge the teacher, where a student is made to wear shorts. And if you ask why the student is made to wear shorts, mm -hmm. the, the only thing the teacher will tell you that I don't want him to be like us. He's not a teacher, so he should wear shorts, not a trousers. And so you have that kind of suppressive culture across the entire fabric of our society. And anything a teacher will say becomes sacred that the mm -hmm. student must follow. And again, balancing that with the, the nature of the crime, it is not as though it's a, it's a public crime, just like just some level of crimes that even criminologists who are due to the fact that they, they, they are very difficult to prevent. I mean, this is one of them. <laughs> no teacher will call you and announce to you that this is what he's going to do. It's unfortunate that we have such a situation. But sometimes you, you, you measure the, the how you, you measure the strength of the system, not by probably how proactive the system is, but also how we have been able to react to it at the end of the day. And for me, uh, we also have to commend the Ghana Police Service for the swift response. But bottom line is, of course, I mean, we have to still collaborate to strengthen our... our, our hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If they never, if they, if they, if they never responded swiftly, probably the issue wouldn't have been in court by now. So let me... Yeah. The, let me I'm lawyer, I'm lawyer, but let me finish. Maybe, maybe, I, give you, hey. maybe I give you a, big, a, big, a bit. Of <laughs> maybe I give a bit of background. So mm -hmm. this teacher, uh, this female teacher, gets wind of this. Mm -hmm. uh, alerts the parents. They go to the police, and then they go and report. Mm -hmm. The guy is not picked up. Mm -hmm. Natuma is not picked up. Okay. Until the education officers there get the wind that the people in the community wanted to mass up and lynch him, so they quickly run to the police to go and and do. And the police come pick him. And put him in yeah, safe custody. Yeah, the police work is not an event. It's and, a process. And, 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 and put, and hold on, hold on. <laughs> and put him in safe custody. Yeah. So, so one would have one would have thought that. that. Well, I mean, the police would not have even acted uh -huh. if the people had not indicated that uh -huh. they wanted Threatened. to lynch. Yeah, the but but I mean, and why the why authorities why, would have why will you why will you reduce the police work to lead the arrest, but also not also the the entire investigation, the prosecution process, which have also been quite swift. You are jumping from one place. Hold on, another. hold on. You are saying you that, that you are saying that the GES must be commended. Lawyer, 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 lawyer. I, I never even brought in the GES. I you said, said that you must commend me. You, yeah, like, 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 let's wrap up on this. Come on, lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. Let me land. Let me land. So you mentioned the GES. You are my friend. Let me land. I didn't message you. I said the police. So why did he ask about police, not GES? So no wonder the president can even say that he doesn't. He wants to go there. We'll come there. We'll go there. Quickly, let's not spend all the time because so what's the way forward? So, would, so, would, so would, would, for example, the GES, so, so the I'm ministry, that, go I'm, to the parents, I'm saying that, apologize I'm saying to that, them? I'm saying, that, I'm saying that, yes. So, in, in broadening the scope of the conversation, we have to reorient our case to be more assertive in, of course, in a, in a very respectful, respectful way, the like our quarter. So that, I mean, some of these things, you know that they are wrong. You are able to report them. Because if you look at the nature of the crime, like I said, even criminologists who are due to the fact that there are some level of crimes that until the crime has been committed, you are unable to prevent it. Of course, I mean, at, at the level of the institutions, you have uh, the counseling units, you have even the teachers who are each other's keeper who have the that duty of care. counseling units functional? Yes, they are functional. Mm. You have the, the, the teachers, other teachers, other colleagues who are supposed to, I mean, that, that, that level of duty of care exists in the mm. schools. But of course, I mean, just like even generally in our societies, you have some who go overboard and break the law. And at the end of the day, the state institutions or people who are responsible for that may, may Will the act. GES take responsibility? The G and the go GES, to the parents. The GES, the GES will take further actions. That's what I would say. Not responsibility. That further further a, actions. The teacher they posted to the school further actions has misconducted be, himself in such in a way. In a criminal matter, it is the court that makes a determination. After that, the GS will take further actions based on the determination of the court. But I thought the GS had code of ethics for yes, teachers. Uh, yes. The rules of engagement. Yes, yes, yes. The code of ethics that not does not overrule the provisions of the constitution in, in especially in the context of in the context of a criminal proceedings where a court will have to make a determination 
when that determination is made, the GS will also come out with is further, further, further. What happens if a teacher misconducts himself? What is in the code? Yes, if a teacher, yeah, so, so I mean, clearly, even if you look at the provisions of the Constitution, for instance, I mean, before you are able to punish somebody, that offense has to be stated in written language and the penalty prescribed to it accordingly. And so, same applies to even the code. So, you have to get a specific offense and the penalty that is prescribed to it accordingly, clearly. But in this case, it's a purely criminal matter. That when the criminal proceedings terminate, the GS will take further actions. This is a misconduct. What do you mean? The, the court no, doesn't no. deal with misconduct. Misconduct. Yes, we deal with misconduct. So but I'm saying that about? the issue is at the level of the court. So I hear you. The, 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 your court doesn't deal with misconduct. <laughs> yes, but you see the investigation. This misconduct process. on the part of a teacher. Yes, the, the court will so have to make code, the determination. No, your court doesn't the deal with the misconduct. Court. The, so if stop hiding behind the court. I'm if, saying that there are if, internal processes. Johnny, what if at the end of the day the court pronounces him not to be guilty? He's come back to his work. <laughs> so, so let You've the court finish. That before. So let the court finish. Uh, let uh, the court finish. Uh, it's, uh, a, uh, it's a uh, criminal uh, proceeding. Uh, 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 I'm uh, saying that it's a criminal, criminal proceeding. You are a lawyer. After, after should I declare him? Amaleba, it's a criminal uh, proceedings. You are a lawyer. Ask him to we step will aside. not accept the powers uh, of the court. This, you are lying. You are hiding behind the court. You have activated your internal processes. We wait for the court. sleeping on your for the court to finish the determination of the matter. Thank you very much. Take a tell me how the GS should work. You sleep on your job. Take a listen to this. Tell me how the GS should work. Because we see. Yeah, let's stay with education and talk about uh, the uh, e-blocks that have become topical. Yesterday, the president responded to Togbe Fiti. First, listen to Togbe Fiti. He's the parliament chief of the uh, Aplau traditional area. And then once we are done with that, we listen to President Anadu Dankwa Kufuado, who spoke on a crowd based radio station, Peace FM, That's with uh, Kwame Sifakain. Uh, and then he responded to him quickly. Let's take a look at it. Because we see here, I'd like us to ventilate the education issues first, and then we can get on to others if we have some more time. After a uh, 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 senior high education, primarily to the senior high education, the main degree that my people have to do is to go to border and go and do uh, what? Kayaro. No school. The only school that we have again is the, the, uh, the RC senior high school. That belongs to the Catholic mission. Uh, it's now what, a minor seminary. So this thick population have no place to go. And people sit down in that big hall called uh, Parliament, without taking of Aplau, a place after the the, the, after the Tema Harbor, the next revenue generation, is from Aplau border. It's from Aplau border. And I have to push. The former president uh, Mahama, for that structure to be what uh, constructed over there, I have to be running from here to Accra. Begging, should you beg for education? No. There's something happening. If we have to beg for education before our what people can go to school, then uh, I don't know what is called a uh, uh, democracy at all. I look at the structure standing over there. Ninety percent finished. Yes. Now the the, the the teams are having their full days again, going there, removing everything at will. Now, in the era of the MBP, now we have the free uh, 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 senior high education, and my people are not benefiting because the school is not here. I'm sure by next, by next year, February, uh, school, uh, new uh, uh, entrants will go to school. So your coming here is the redemption to the suffering people of Aflau. It's a redemption, really, to the suffering people of Aflau. I carry this message to the Minister of uh, Education. That come February, I want this school to be open. Yes, February. We came to her. It's uh, it's, it's difficult. Uh, how, how about the e-blocks? Many of them, many of them. I can. I think I'll, 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 I'll find an opportunity to send you that many of them are being worked on across the country. Let me just take one, Mr. President. The one in Aflau where the chief himself has complained. Uh, I don't know if you have e-block, no. Obaye, you know what she is. Until my education minister up to February, say, I'm going to be it's on the on no minister. Ultimatum. So I swear, I swear, I swear.
Into Obisa, no, then I'll be catching every out of out of frustration. Maybe your casa, as much as possible. I've given you these examples to let you see that, on the contrary, despite the propaganda, because one of the things that, uh, um, uh, we, I, I suspect there's a deficit on our part is our ability to counter the propaganda. The propaganda takes over the reality of so many aspects of our national life. It's a pity, but we will, we will, we will continue. Togwe Fiti uh, is the paramount chief of Aflao traditional area and also President Nana Dodanko Kufuado earlier with uh, Kwame Sivaka on Accra based radio station piece of We had to play this because yesterday we spoke about it and the president gave a response. Uh, quick, Kwesi, let me come to you. The president seems to suggest that the chief was playing propaganda uh, and the contract, contrasting views that the chief was just asking for what he has gone to beg in the past to be actualized for his people to benefit. Was he playing propaganda? I think for me, uh, what is more important to me, and of course my boss, the Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Iwadikim, is that we are able to complete the projects, especially the ongoing ones. Within if the you, ultimatum? If, I mean, I'm coming. If you recall, in 2012, 2012 2013, mm. I mean, the impression that uh, our friends, uh, the, the PAS administration, mm. Amalba and Co., made was that they were half comments the construction of our 200 of these day community mm -hmm. senior high schools. It is instructive for all of us to know that 2014 coming, I mean, when they really awarded the contracts for the construction of these schools, a number of 124 of them were constructed. Out of this 124, 23 of them was being sponsored by the World Bank. So mm -hmm. it means that government of Ghana was funding 101 of them. Between 20, 2014 to 2016, I mean, I always commend them this. At least they, 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 they took at least they make some frantic effort mm -hmm. to, to be able to do something. So they were able to complete 29 of them. Okay. Between 2017 to date, 31 of them has been completed. Okay. And so cumulatively, you have 60 of them that has been completed okay. and operationalized and in use by students currently. And so the earlier impression that was created as though the projects have been abandoned, it's not entirely correct or true. Okay. Of course, I mean, the fundamental question that is asked is the remaining 64, where are they? The remaining 64, they have been categorized in three main phases. Which are? The first category is that those that is between, uh, in terms of the completion, uh, how do you call it, percentage, 65% mm. 60 per, 60 and above. That okay. is 21 of the schools. Okay. You have 16 of them. That is also between 25 to 60%. And then 27 of them, those contracts have been terminated outrightly because, okay. I mean, some of them contractor even never moved to site. Uh, some of them to even look at the progress of work after 18 months, it's still 1%, it's 2%. And so at that staff structure level, there was no need of even uh, executing the contract in the first place. So uh, currently we'll be dealing with 124 minus uh, 27. That is the, the actual projects that we are working on. Mm. Of which 60 has been completed and operationalized. And so... It, 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 it defeats the impression that was portrayed by the minority recently as though the projects have been abandoned. Of course, I mean, we, we do agree. We do agree that some of them uh, uh, ought to have been completed by now. But there is a peculiar challenge or peculiar issue that we are all not addressing. Is, For instance, let mm. me take you to a school like uh, uh, the, uh, Oyoko in the Boston Chua District mm. or Drobonso, for instance. Government has to secure extra funds to be able to construct boarding facilities for these schools so that, they, I mean, students are able to use. The Why, reason Why it, was that? Yes, because <laughs> if you look at the original concept of the school, it was community day senior high schools. Mm -hmm. And so ordinarily, you expect that they, are, they were situated in, in the, the communities. The communities. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then students have to walk one mile, two miles, three miles for, to be able to assess the schools. And so some of them, government have to, have to construct or connect road network, some of them electricity grid, some of them water, and some of them to government have to get buses for them. I mean, I, I mean the, the one that comes to mind, the, to mind the top of is mind. the o Oyoko one and the Bosomche one, mm. where government had to uh, uh, construct boarding houses to be able to, 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 to facilitate the, the use of, 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 of these projects. Let me give you an instance. If you look at a school like Sine, uh, uh, Basa Community Senior High School, for instance, in the Sine East District in the mm. Bono East, and then New Kokompe Community School, for instance, Initially, you know the school was operationalized in 2017. In 2017, the number of enrollment was zero. 
same as I'm, I'm referring to the two schools mm. in 2018 to was zero zero. So what it meant because was nobody that, was posted there. No, no, no. It was because no student was even was willing to assess it. So what the government did was, be, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, how mm. do you post a student there when the student will have to travel, walk for a mile or two before he's able to assess the school? So government had to secure money to be able to add ancillary facilities like boarding to mm. be able to as, make it accessible. And so yes. Bottom line is that, I mean, the, the Tobe has raised... Uh, Was the, he the playing propaganda for like me, the president that, that's something that, that That's something that, for me, what is important to me is that we are able to complete the projects. What Was is more, he playing propaganda? I said, what is more because important? Because the president sought to suggest that uh, one of the difficulties of this government is your inability to respond to propaganda. We then suggest that the man was playing propaganda, the venerable chief was playing propaganda. That's the suggestion of the Johnny, president. Johnny, Johnny. From the, I'll where you resist, sit at the ministry. I'll resist the temptation do you, do you of, subscribe to that? Johnny, I'll that, resist the temptation of being boxed into answering that question. the president person. who appointed you. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, no, I'm saying that I'll resist the temptation of being boxed into answering that question. For me. Why not? And, no, for me. And we are the ministry. Of course, of course I mean, my able boss, the Honorable Minister, Dr. Yos Edujum. What is more important to us is that we are able to complete the projects that has been outlined. And when I refer, because I, whatever the chief said, no, whatever the chief said, Johnny, mm. let me give you uh, examples of some of this, some of these schools. That is, the, is the minister beyond ultimatum? Because even trade unionists will give ministers ultimatum. You have GPRT, they give ultimatum. Even ministers, why, even ministers give themselves ultimatum. Why, so why can the chief, <laughs> why can the chief give an ultimatum to the minister for yes, education? Yes, 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 yes. But you see, per that logic. Per that logic, what it means is that uh, if you go to the Mwasi Municipal, the chief there will also have to give ultimatum. If you go to Adansenov, the chief there will also have to give ultimatum. If you go to Bosomche District, the chief there will also have to give ultimatum. Adanse South, Ahanta West, I, I, I mean, West, because all of them. They so are so then you agree that the president no. said the chief was playing propaganda? No, no, no. I am saying that, I am saying <coughs> that, you see, if you look at the nature of the work, and especially the circumstances that cause, has caused the delay, you have... Uh, the past government that has created the whole impression that they were building 200 schools. They were able to build 29 of them. In fact, awarding 124 contracts. When they were leaving office, at no point did they make any budgetary allocation for it. And another government comes and have to make sure that there is budgetary allocation for it. To the extent that they have to even add ancillary facilities to the project to be able to make the project functional. Certainly, reasonably and organically, it's going to take time. If we reduce the construction of the project to every chief making a demand and giving an ultimatum, then I can bet you that the remaining 64 minus the 27, every chief is going to get up and give an ultimatum. I hear you. What is more important is that the Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Yosedukum, is bent on making sure that these projects are all completed. By on February, time. as the chief wants. There are a number of them, especially those that are, are, are passed about 90% percent Let, complete, just say, like this let's one. Let's say in a flower. Yes. So he wants it open by February. I, is I'm, it possible? I'm not, sure, you I'm, not, I'm not sure it's, it's really about him is a is is really about is really about 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 the projects in that categories which even before the chief made his comments the ministry has started to operationalize those that has gotten to the level of completion what's but, your timeline for those ones who have gotten beyond 60 percent and above towards completion uh, uh johnny what i know does the you, ministry have a timeline the system you see if you look at the projects, they are in, I mean, it's not like the awarding of the contracts were done en masse or en bloc. They were done on an individual basis. Right. So the ministry is unable to say that we are going to finish all of them maybe today or tomorrow. Okay. Unless, of course, we go into the individual specifics, which, I mean, it will take time if we want to go into the, the, the data. But for me, what we know at the ministry and what we have been doing and will continue to do is that those that has passed the level of 95 percent we are hoping that uh, hopefully by by next academic year we will personalize it will you grant which the chief's includes, wish will which you grant his wish which Tom includes his, wish? which includes togwe's own which includes togwe's own because if i mean you saw initially let, let me even do some 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 quite Quick, logical quickly, so lo bring let, let me do some logical test here on one side, on one side, the impression that was banded around is that the projects have been abandoned. You, if you, you, if you, you, if you made look that at, point already. No, if you look at this project specifically, in, in particular, when the MPP administration took over, of course, under the leadership of the president, Nana Rodanko, and the Honorable Minister of Education, it was at the first floor. Today, you just show it on your TV. So it even defeats the earlier argument that it was abandoned. 
But like I said, at some point, there are some of the projects you have to add ancillary projects that you did not even budget or, or plan for. But I'm very hopeful, I'm okay. very, very hopeful mm. that including what the Togo is demanding and all other uh, facilities that are in that various category. Hopefully, I so, mean, so by, they'll be ready by, by February. By hopefully by February, we by should February. be able to okay. operationalize. I'm very hopeful. So, I'm so the hopeful. ministry agrees with Togo. We said that the president doesn't agree with Togo. No, the ministry has always been working to operationalize it. I hear you. Of which the president is also aware, and that's what the president has been championing. I hear you, Council. Mm. Was the chief playing propaganda? As suggested by the president. What is the crime of this chief? Is the crime that when he met the minority uh, on the education committee and was then telling them that, look, this is an e-block, which is 90% complete. Can you operationalize it for me so that students in my catchment area can go to school? And that in his catchment area, there's no secondary school. He said there was one that has been turned to a seminary. Mm. <laughs> is that a crime? You see, if you want an example of a bad president, it's a president who is intolerant, is a president who is condescending, is a president who thinks that he is above the people. When you listen to the comments of the president, it clearly shows you that he doesn't have an, even understand the workings of democracy. It is, he says it's not the place of the, the chief to give the minister ultimatum. That's what I'm saying. The minister that, works under him. That's so what I'm saying. That he must call the shots. That's what I'm saying. That he doesn't even understand how democracy works. But how he, do you, how, why he, do you say that? President Akufado, hmm? he was unemployed. When he was in opposition, what work was he doing? Well, he was in a private firm. Come which on. Which, which, Come private, on, firm? which, which private firm? Come on. Which I'm private like. firm? Lawyer, lawyer. Which <laughs> private firm? He was unemployed. It is the people of Ghana. The president was not in private practice. No, he was not. <laughs> it is the people of Ghana, which court did you see him in? It was the people of Ghana who employed him to become the president. He could be notary public. <laughs> And he was signing documents. Yes, it's oh, possible. Okay. All right. Or writing briefs for other. You let me go on. Now, there's a serious matter here. Don't no, no, you are making an there's allegation. A there's a serious you matter. There's a serious matter. You are making an allegation. Look, there's a serious I'm... matter. Let me go on. I'm uh, seeking clarification. I said that he wasn't working. You said that he was signing documents. It's okay. Now, you went to get the, the point is this. <laughs> the point is this. In a democracy, it is the people <laughs> who employ you. So an employer can give an employee an ultimatum. So where does he get his understanding by saying that can the chief give the minister an ultimatum? Even he himself, the chief, can give him an ultimatum. He says the chief can go and do it if he's frustrated. That's where I'm coming to now. So if you have a president whose mindset is this, and particularly for Akufado as president, this is a man who begged, who literally begged. He, of all the president under the Fourth Republic, this is the president who literally begged people to vote for him. Today, look at his lifestyle, look at his conduct, look at his speeches, look at how he talks to people, unpresidential, and you think that it is okay to allow this to continue? Well, talk if it is not alone. They, they There's even Yilo another chief, Yilo Kuro, uh, chief, Apesua, who has asked him to come and uh, uh, evacuate the e-blocks if he's not going to complete them. People are frustrated. People see those projects. And what they are children to go to school. You have crammed people with your free SSS in, uh, in, 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 in small schools and rooms. There are facilities to accommodate them. You are not doing it. Mm. And when people speak up and say that, can you assist them to do it? You go on that tangent. Look, I think it was a bad taste. Look, you see, the president must wake up to reality that his style of governance, the people of this country have become fed up with him. How? And that is why chiefs, queen mothers, look him in the face and tell him the truth. And that is why there was a queen mother who told him to deal with, to talk about the LGBT queen and the plus plus uh, one. Look how he's going. So, People have now become fed up because his own promises before he came, it's not what he's doing. But Chrissy says they are committed to completing the project. If you look at the progress that have been made since he peddled falsehood. left. He peddled falsehood here. Wait, which, which? That NDC completed 20-something. 20 29, yeah. That's a fact. Unless stop, you, stop doing un, that. Unless you provide your counter facts. You do not rubbish stop doing that. somebody's I, data. I, 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 stop, stop doing that. So maybe he has details to share. What, 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 what are your figures? Stop, stop telling. Graphic online. 
He doesn't have. NDC built 46 day community day senior school. Open prep prep. So graphics speaks for you. Oh, you see. Allow. Alla. You see your 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 your. your, your he's quoting Matthew Poku prep. Who is much much more Pope. senior than you? You see your pedestrian argument. Your pedestrian argument. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> 46 out of 200 planned community senior high school projects initiated by the NDC government have has has been completed. The Minister of Education, Matthew Poku Prempe, has said. When is this dated? Matthew Poku Prempe has said. It's 2017. 2017, okay. Huh? If you want the month, I'll give you. Uh, March. 07, my, my, day, my birthday. Oh, 07, okay. 2017. <laughs> <laughs> lawyer, lawyer. Huh? <laughs> then you come and sit here and pedal falsehood and say that we all completed 26. So you see, how we came to this point, mm. that as a people, we allow a group of people who were able to deceive us into bringing them to power is our problem now today. Should the president apologize? There are calls that he should apologize. Or Richard what I apologize. expect this morning, could he have spoken that way to Asantini? Could he have spoken that way to uh, his own chief, Ochehine? He's so condescending. He's so condescending. Look, what I expect this morning is the people of Aflau. <laughs> to mass up and demonstrate. You are calling for chaos. And what is chaos? Demonstrations in the constitution, what is chaos? <laughs> Tell the people who wrote the constitution to remove it before you can say it's chaos. To demonstrate against the president for attacking their chief and for not uh, uh, completing this, the, 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 the block. It is in bad taste to have our president always, he cannot stomach criticisms. Simple, simple criticisms, he cannot stomach them. And that I think is the bane, and that's a weakness in our democracy. His conduct you. is a weakness in our democracy. Where you have a president who is intolerant. I hear you. A president who cannot take simple, simple criticisms. Mm. And uh, the, the journalist was also laughing mm. when he said that uh, one call, one call see, it. one call see. It. How can a president talk, talk that way to I hear you. people? So let me bring you in, Kwesi. Somebody is asking because we are talking education. I'm happy you are here. Somebody is asking wh where the textbooks are for the basic schools. Textbook for yes. basic schools. Basic school textbooks. Uh, your predecessor, who is now MP for TAFO, Vincent Tasefo, had promised that the textbooks will be in by February this year. Um, Richard Ahiagba told me that the textbooks will be ready six months after the curriculum was changed. That was two years ago. Now, more than two years down the line, where are the textbooks? Then who, who sent you this message? Oh, it's on Twitter. I can oh, share oh, with exactly you. It's on Twitter, that? actually. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a valid question, mm. and we are all worried about so the, it. So the Twitter, the Twitter is, is Shaku M. Awal Foko, and he says, ask the PR when the textbooks for the basic schools will be given to basic schools. Three years on the keep, he says, lying to Ghanaians, when the books will be coming. And then he asks a screenshot from City Newsroom, for, uh, a nice picture of Echo Vincent, my good friend, dated... Uh, two years ago, he said textbooks for new curriculum to be ready in February. Education ministry. He was in your position. Let, yeah, let me let me set a premise before I'm able to answer that. Right. You see, don't let us create the impression that mm. the whole education is premised on textbooks. If you go to, I mean, that is not to say that textbooks are not necessary. But if you go to jurisdictions like UK, for instance, mm -hmm. they don't use textbooks. Textbooks are for the individual enhancement of the child. Okay. It's not for the teaching activities. And so if you look at when the standard-based curriculum, for instance, was introduced, because I mean, that is from the KG up mm, to the mm. primary level, the expectation was that we have the textbooks. I mean, the publishers promised that they were going to give, uh, it was six months or uh, ultimately to be able to finish. Right. I'm sure it was against that backdrop that we had uh, Richard and uh, uh, my own good friend, Ekwe Mko, mm. giving that promise. Right. But unfortunately, the whole of 2020, COVID hit and uh, their processes were truncated because at the end, especially most of the printing materials, they have to import and other mm. things. So they delayed in, in honoring their promise. But what I know is that uh, hopefully, hopefully, mm -hmm. as at, uh, by, by next academic year, the textbooks will be ready for, for use. But you see, beyond the textbooks, mm -hmm. the Ministry of Education, of course, under the leadership of uh, the Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Ayose Dutum, mm. was even far advanced and proactive so what wow. he did was to get resource packs and train all the teachers, all 150,000 teachers that are within the basic category, train them, 
give them resource packs of all. I mean, the resource packs mm. uh, 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 include the framework of the curriculum and all other relevant information that will be necessary for teaching and learning that the teachers have that they are mm. using. Mm. So, yes, the textbooks, in as much as they are very relevant in our educational uh, discourse, uh, hopefully by next academic year they will be in use. Mm. But I just want to set a, a, the, the premise that we shouldn't make it look as though everything is centered on test because there are other advanced candidates even so the test will be ready for use by next academic yeah, year next academic year but then in your new curriculum as well the children are supposed to use round tables they're supposed to sit in a montessori style what's the plan implement, because, implement because the desk that you have are still the dual desk yeah, implementation of uh, it depends on which category mm. because, i mean you cannot say that those are the at the jhs level no no i'm talking about primary yeah yeah but the basic okay okay, okay, mm. okay very well. so implementation of a curriculum is not an event it's two years it's a process it's been two years <laughs> no it's a process so it's been two years. today we are talking about textbooks i'm sure after the test we also moved there it's been two years no i'm saying that it's not an event so we will, we will certainly get if there if you are not completing your processes why do you change the process no the process i mean the no, no, I mean, like I said, if you are talking about, and I'm happy you use the word the process. Process will mean that you start from somewhere and get to another place. I am not sure the suggestion is that all of a sudden we should throw away all the other decks mm. and, and get and get new decks. It is a process. We'll continue you to see? address them as mm. and when it becomes. Council, uh, can can take your one minute you on, the, on this the, one. The work of a PRO, mm. as it is, is not to defend everything, and including the indefensible. Mm. <laughs> you sit here and say that oh. We shouldn't think that uh, textbooks are all in all mm -hmm. and that there are resource packets or packs or whatever. Then you again say that, oh, no, um, uh, I'm not saying that textbooks are not important. You scrapped certain textbooks and I have dealt with publishers because some of them even owe my clients who, were, who are Indians and he's here to call. They went to India, printed those textbooks. They even begged you that. Let us phase the textbooks out gradually. I can tell you, one of them even collapsed and died. Mm. Oh, yes. Um, Bedouin Cancer. Wow. If you know a publisher called Bedouin yeah, Cancer. Yeah, I know Bedouin Cancer. I am putting it out. I sent him to court. My Indian client came. We are pursuing him for money. You need have personal issues. I'll, I'll, what I'll, the person, I'm telling you how your system did not take into consideration the entire spectrum of... Uh, Textbook of your clients. Of, of textbooks in the system. So there was there were textbooks. People went and printed them and came back. They met with the education minister and said, Can we do it gradually and phase them out? You said no. So all those textbooks came and they were abandoned. Now, introduce the new textbooks to Wahala. You are not introducing. <laughs> and you think that you are managing the education system well? Okay, thank how, you very much. Good how morning, TV3. Well, the please, in my candid the opinion, the yeah. statement from the president to talk with Fiti was rude and distasteful. If a president speaks like that, what do we expect from a common boy on the street? Please, Mr. President, should attach some level of seriousness to the presidency. I pretty the journalist interviewing him. Is a father and son or uh, employee and employer situation? Hmm. Victor Rapture and Ho. When are the 88 hospitals? Uh, the civil president, Kufado, promised us Ghanaians are just vigilant these days. You can't tell them lies and walk away. Osman Bukrison in Tamil. Good morning, Johnny. You see the president, we were all here when he went uh, about eating kinky with spare parts dealers in Accra and eating Tubani, special meal made from beans in the north while he was seeking to become the chief servant of the great of this great nation now he is arrogant to the very people he was claiming to serve it was a low day to say the least he must apologize appropriately if he's not misled then it was a mistake let him know that uh, a repeated mistake is a decision god save country this country from my kids and yours johnny have a blessed day alexander in takra the good golden boy in tamale central says good morning to you johnny sir so it's Mr. Kwesi uh, Kwatin telling us that until the case is determined in court, GES can't issue a statement condemning the act and apologize to the parents and the general public. Good morning, Johnny. GES never gets anything right. It is evident in the way they treat teachers. The PRA is clearly an epitome of the unprofessionalism that goes on at the GES headquarters. What a shame, Bright Appelle. Uh, good morning, Johnny. The GES and Ministry of Education are only interested in buying Pasco for the final year students. Nothing more for them to do. Godwin Ashale from Big Bay said, Dan Soman. Good morning, TV3. Johnny, I'm saddened this morning. Why? Is the president saying Toby Fiti is the only person requesting for completion of the project in the area? Can he tell any chief in this town? 
uh, this uh, Kofi Vome. Good morning, Johnny. Um, Ali Isaac from Junior. Uh, um, I want to ask Kwesi this question. My question is, for how long will the processing of teacher training allowances take to be dispensed? He has given us assurance for two times and nothing has been done. Oh, Mr. Kwesi, just feel like saying uh, things like uh, he's been sent to send. Well, uh, thank you very much. A happy birthday to uh, Mrs. Millicent Ama Uswa Lamte and also to your lovely daughter Nelly Odako Lamte of Tema Parent School. This is from Dr. Ray of Get Well Medical Center. Also, a happy birthday to Akosia Jemfua Kisi Kisiwa, uh, four years old today, Star Academy, Community 12 in Tema. This is from Richard Kisi of the Chamber of Bulk Oil Distributors and also Mrs. Joyce Asari Kisi, Tema General Hospital, and to Valentine Seto Ale. This is from Komla Dumke. Thank you, Mr. Kisi Kwating. I, I wish we'll have a one on one sometime soon. Yeah. It's a PRO, a spokesperson for the Ministry of That's Education. And also, <laughs> lawyer Ibrahim Amaleba <laughs> is the head of the NDC's legal uh, team and also a member of the communication team. Grateful, grateful that you could join us. Thank you very much. The sports here, and then we're asking the question Will you share your pain? Huh? Your pain, your phone passcode with your wife and your phone or your partner? Will you share it? I don't know what you think.